I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we received another question from one of our subscribers. Let me share with you the solution of this trigonometric equation. The question here is, solve sin x plus 30 degrees equals to 2 cos x plus 40 degrees where x is between 0 to 360 degrees, right? So that's the question for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now in such questions, let's try to expand and simplify. So we have sine of x plus 30 degrees, right? So all this is in degrees, uh, equals to 2 cos of x plus 45 degrees, right? So if you expand this using compound angle formula, you get sine x cos 30, right, plus cos x sine 30 degrees equals to 2 times cos x cos 45 degrees minus sine x sine 45 degrees. Correct. Now, uh, we know the values of sine and cosine, or you can use uh, special triangles. Let me sketch the special triangles here uh, for your reference. So, we'll sketch two special triangles, right? So, these triangles have sides, which are, if this is 30 degrees, in that case, sides are 1, 2, and square root of 3. And here, we have square root of 2, 1, 1 for 45 degrees. Okay. So let's substitute the values. Cos of 30 will be square root 3 over 2. So we get square root 3 over 2 sin x plus cos of 30 degrees is half. So we get half of cos x equals to 2 times uh, we can open the bracket. Cos x and cos 45. So cos 45 is square root of 2 in the denominator. Let's write down. We have cos x minus 2 times sin x over square root of 2. Now bring sine and cosine terms together. So we have square root of uh, 3 over 2. Uh, we can take sin x common. Okay, let me write down like this. Sin x plus 2 over square root 2 sin x equals to 2 over square root 2 cos x minus half cos x. Okay. So we can take sin x and cos x common on left and right side. So we get what? Uh, we can, uh, when I take sin x common, uh, let's multiply everything by 2, right? So let's multiply both sides by 2 first. So here we get square root of 3 sin x plus 2 square root 2 sin x equals to 2 square root 2 cos x minus cos x. Okay, that will be better. So we just multiplied everything by 2 to get rid of this denominator. So we get now square root of 3 plus 2 square root 2 sine x equals to 2 square root 2 minus 1 cos x. So dividing, we can write sine x over cos x equals to 2 square root 2 minus 1 over square root 3 plus 2 square root 2. Perfect. So that gives you, uh, that gives you tan x. Sin x over cos x x tan x equals to 2 square root 2 minus 1 over square root 3 plus 2 square root 2. So <clears throat> tan x equals to. Perfect. So we have tan x equals to some value. Now 2 square root 2 is positive. So all this is positive. So basically what we are looking for here 
is two solutions, right? Tan x is positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 3. So we can find this angle, alpha, right? And the other angle will be 180 plus alpha. So those will be our answers, correct? So, so let's use the calculator to figure this out. So the value of x, we can say, is tan inverse of 2 square root 2 minus 1 over square root 3 plus 2 square root 2. Since alpha is also equal to x, we are in quadrant 1, we'll just calculate this out. So what we have here is shift inverse to get the tan inverse and numerator, let's put it in brackets, 2 square root 2 minus 1, bracket close, uh, divided by, within brackets we'll write square root 3 plus 2 square root 2, okay, and then bracket close, 2 brackets close, right, equals to what? So we get this angle as 21.84. So I'm just writing this as 21.8 degrees. Correct? The other angle will be, so x will also be equals to 180 plus 21.8. So let's add 180 to it, right? So plus 180, we get 20184. So it is 201.8, correct? And therefore, we get our answer, and the answer is x equals to 21.8 degrees and 201.8 degrees, correct? So that is how you could actually solve this question. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time, and all the best.